Hello, hello, ladies. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Hopefully. Hopefully. This is what happens when I do impromptus. Okay. I think I got it all, all organized now. Okay. Hello, hello, ladies. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Third time's a charm. <laughs> we'll get this. We'll get this going in a second. Goodness gracious, y'all. Uh, that's what happens when I do impromptus. Hello. Good afternoon, ladies. So sorry. So sorry about that. I kept forgetting stuff, and my phone wasn't working. My computer wasn't working, and then I forgot to turn calls off. And I know that right in the middle of this, someone will call me. So good afternoon, ladies. Um, we are doing an impromptu uh, live get together on our group. I've just been crafting all afternoon and figured, hey, I'm going to do a page. So let's just go live and we'll see who can all join me. Probably just a few, but that's okay. I hope you're all having a very blessed day. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Um, I don't know if many of you got off work for today or if, you know, I know a lot of you are home anyways. Um, so it was probably like any other day. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. Thank you all for who can join me now. And if not, we'll see you all um, later on in the replay. So can you all hear me okay? Good. I'm not seeing any comments, so just say hi or something just so I can see that you're hearing me, you're seeing me, everything's cool. Just wait for some comments. Good afternoon, good afternoon. While we are waiting, we are going to be in Micah chapter 7, the very last verses of Micah. Hey, Laura. <laughs> Debbie, oh my gosh. Yeah, I should have been cleaning. I have been crafting instead. <laughs> I need to do a few things, but you know, I go to my craft room when I want to avoid everything else. Okay, good. So you're all hearing me. Good. Good. The verse is Micah chapter 7. We're focusing on verse 19, Laura. So grab any kind of scrapbook paper you have, um, underwater scenes. I've got like this, this uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one or not, but this is Seahorses scrapbook. I had these letters and these, these like beach scene uh, underwater stickers. I like this. I love this uh, scrapbook paper, so I'm probably going to use that. I also had these little images, these little square images of the beach and octopus and crabs and anchors and, you know, shells and things. So, <laughs> Debbie. Uh, yeah, well, my whole life, I think, is sometimes just a comedy act at times. <laughs> but anyways, I'm grabbing some napkins with uh you know different c things so that's what i'll be using today uh let's see let me get myself organized here so napkins gesso for our napkins and paper so we will be in micah chapter 7 and the very last verse 19 and 20 says he will again have compassion on us he will vanquish our iniquities he will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea I love that, y'all. Um, I just did a page this morning, so I wanted to show you. Um, this one really stood out to me as I was reading Micah, and this one. I saw a page done like this um, called Waymaker, and this is Micah chapter 2, verse 12, um, 12 and 13. The remnant regathered. It says, I will indeed gather all of you, Jacob. I will collect the remnant of Israel. I will bring them together like sheep in a pen, like a flock in the middle of its pasture. It will be noisy with people. 
One who breaks open the way will advance before them. I love that, breaks open the way. They will break out, pass through the city gate, and leave by it. Their king will pass through before them and the Lord as their leader. And so I had this song in my head. Hey, Kay. Hey, Shannon. Hi, y'all. So I had this song in my head all day. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. I'm sure you all have heard that song. If you haven't, make sure you check it out. So I did this page earlier. I have a video up on it on my um, YouTube channel called Lovely Lavender Wishes. If you want to know how I did that one. This one, um, I pretty much, I saw somebody do a page on this or I saw a page and I don't remember who did this. Maybe some of you will recognize it. But I kind of took that idea and, and just kind of did it on my own. Um, so I've had that image in my head and then just did it on my own. So I have the YouTube video on how I did it. I don't know if that's the way she did it, but that's how I did it. So so that was in Micah today. So I was just finishing up Micah and figured I'd go live. So again, Micah chapter 7 verse 19 is um, you will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. So let's get crafted. If y'all have any questions, you can ask me along the way. Um, okay, so I am going to first lay down this paper. I really like this paper and I am going to mark it right here with a pencil and just cut it across the top here. So I said just grab any kind of underwater images you have. Now I lost. Where did I put that, where, where did I put that little? Oh goodness y'all. Okay. Had it like this. Oh, there it is. There's the line. Okay. I like this part because it's kind of like sandy beachy part. So, or the, you know, the bottom of the ocean. So I am going to just cut this across. Like so. Move that to the side because I probably won't need that for this, but I'll use it for something else. And then I am going to kind of start it here and tear down. I'm trying to figure out which way to tear it this way so I don't get the white edge. I'm just going to kind of tear it so it's like this jagged piece all the way going down across my page. And then I'm going to grab my scissors. Hey y'all, glad y'all can join me. I know it's impromptu, but I figured I was crafting. Mine is well craft with y'all if whoever wants to join me. It's one of those afternoons, y'all. It's kind of um, cloudy and dreary here. So I spent the day, instead of cleaning, <laughs> like some of you are doing, uh, I decided to craft. So I'm going to do that instead. So it kind of looks like the drop off into the ocean a little bit to me. So I'm just going to glue this on the page. This is the first thing I'm going to do. Oh, and I am almost out of glue. Let me grab another glue stick. I seem to go through those like water. I got this big old um, case from, I think, Sam's or Costco or something. Big scotch glue sticks. So those last me for a while, but I still go through glue sticks pretty quickly. Uh, so yeah, hope you all, like I said, are having a blessed day today. My husband will probably be coming home soon. Or my son, one of the two. Okay, so this is just, I'm just putting this in the corner of the page. I got my little plastic piece under here, which I need to clean. It's getting pretty grungy. Oops, I'm moving everything, y'all. Am I in camera for y'all? <laughs> okay, and then let's see. So I've got all these little napkins. I really love this one, this little... Uh, jellyfish so let me move this real quick and I'm gonna start um, grab my water and my brush and I'm gonna start um, getting some of these napkins cut out it's got little bubbles on it and everything love it that's the easiest way I have found to get napkins apart is using water Okay, so I'm going to move that to the side. I'm also going to get rid of these um, edges because when you are, the thing I found with napkins, when you want it to blend into the background more, you want to have the sprayed edge. You don't want to have the, um, 
this strict edge on it. It'll blend in better when it's kind of frayed like this. Just a little tip that I've found works for me. Okay, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. So that's one of my images. Okay, I also have, so let me move that to the side. I also have these little starfish. This one's pretty big, but I like this um, little one right here. Whoop, whoop, just dropped a large. Gotta make sure I tear this correctly now with that water spreading everywhere. That was not helpful, y'all. That was too much water. Okay. This will probably go in the corner, so I don't mind this edge because that's going to go right up um, to the corner. But I am going to tear off a lot of this stuff right here. Oh, thanks, Susan. Yeah, they're, they're cute napkins. I get a lot, a lot of people ask me where I get my napkins from. I'm in a lot of trading groups, Facebook groups and such for trading napkins. So you can just Google um, groups to trade napkins in or swap napkins, napkin swapping. Um, they're throughout the whole United States. They're, well, they're out throughout the world, actually. You can um, trade across the seas if you want, um, trade wherever. And um, I started off with just, um, just a few napkins, like just a handful of napkins. And then I started trading and um, I'm just trying to get some of this off. I started trading and before I knew it, I had bags of napkins, all different kinds. So you can start off with a few and end up with a ton. Okay, that's good enough for now. <laughs> I should have just cut that one out, but we'll just leave him be. Okay, and then I have these little corals pieces on this napkin. And I'm trying to figure out, gosh, I've got water everywhere. Figure out which ones I want. Let me get rid of some of this water. Okay, I definitely want this one right here. So we're gonna pull this one out. So yeah, I've had that Waymaker song on pretty much all afternoon. <laughs> that was just running in my head and let's see. Okay, so I like this blue one. Let's see if we can fit it somewhere, but I don't want the shells. I don't mind this shell. That'll be at the bottom of the ocean. How are you ladies doing? I hope you're all doing well. I can't believe we're almost done with the Old Testament, y'all. Isn't that crazy? Sometimes it feels like we would have been in the Old Testament forever, but then sometimes it feels like it like we it just went so fast. So I you know, sometimes I feel like just like time. Sometimes I feel like it takes forever, and then other times I feel like it just went way too fast. I don't know, it's weird. I think the older you get, the weirder time gets for you. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Oh, well, I got most of the shells off and kept that one. Okay, so we got that one. And should we do this one? Maybe we can layer them up. Okay, let's let's do this one. Ooh, gosh, all this water, y'all. I need like a it probably would work a lot better with a um, brush with like a fine tip. This brush has got like that big tip on it. But we'll make it work. I'm too lazy to go get another brush. Even though it's only like right over there. <laughs> too lazy. It's been one of those afternoons. Okay, we'll keep all this for something else. I was thinking of doing um, a journal, like a seaside journal or an ocean journal because the ocean is my happy place so I'll save all that for for a journal one day okay so let's figure out where we're gonna put all this stuff now grab all these okay 
Let's make sure y'all can see. Okay. So I'm thinking of putting that like that. This little guy is going to be like coming out of the corner. And then we've got some, this guy's got to, this guy's got to go last because we got, we have to have the backgrounds. Again, the layers, y'all. I'm always talking about layers. So layer things up. This guy will go in front of that. So something like that, maybe. What do you think? And then this guy will go on top. Okay, so let's get the gesso. I'm using a different kind other than the tube kind. I ran out of the tube kind, so now I have this one. This is uh, Art Basics Gesso Clear Transparent Gesso. This one works just as well as my other one. Let me get this down. And now I'm just putting up my napkins. Are y'all crafting along with me or are y'all just watching and listening to me ramble on? <laughs> I figured, why talk to myself on video when I could go live and talk to y'all and just, you know, have some people to talk to rather than just talking to myself on camera. When I pre-record all my videos, I'm just talking along. My husband would probably think, yeah, I mean, he knows what I do, but he probably is like, oh, yeah, she's just in there talking to herself all day. Susan, you're learning. Aw. Okay, so. I'm learning as we go, Susan. I, I kind of make mistakes and everything on camera as we as we go. That's when all my that's when all my disasters happen is on camera. Cause I pretty much do all, almost all my crafting on camera since for my YouTube channel, but I mean not all of it I guess, but but that's when all my mistakes happen. Oh, thanks, Kay. Okay, so now I'm gonna go over top. I kind of like—I don't know if you—I don't know if you can see it on camera, but up close you can see the um, background of this paper shining through the napkin, which is cool. It gives it another layer again, which I like. It just gives it another dimension. It adds more to it than just like just a plain old picture on the on the um, page. I'm all about the layers. Hey, Karen. Hi. Susan, I'm human. Of course I'm human. Are you kidding me? Uh, I think I am probably... My husband just laughs at me. He's like, I don't know how you managed to, to live and function because like, everything seems to always go wrong for me all the time. Like, you know, I don't know if all this happens to you all, but... um. I will be having issues with the computer or the TV or what you name it, you name it. And then I'll be like, someone help. And my son will walk in and he'll just, you know, flip the switch and it works perfectly for him. Or my husband will just walk in the room and all of a sudden the thing starts working. He doesn't even have to do anything. And I'm like, really? It's like, they just live life. Like, you know, everything just falls in place for them. And then for me, it's like, I have so many difficulties, especially with technology. Like I will have so many issues going on. And then, you know, they'll be like, what's the problem? Look, it works fine. I'll be like, 10 minutes ago, it was not working fine. And I did exactly what you did. I pressed the same buttons you pressed. I did the same thing. But yet, no, it didn't work for me. But you come in and within a minute, it's working. Okay, do we want it that way or do we want it this way? I think we want it that way. So I don't know if all that happens to y'all, but it definitely happens to me all the time. And then my husband just shakes his head and he's like, I don't know about you. <laughs> and I'm like, stop. We've been married for almost 30 years now. I think 30 years? 28 years? I don't even know anymore. It's been a long time, y'all. Um, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. We've been happily married. So even though he shakes his head at me and teases me and all that so <laughs> Karen the verse is Micah chapter 7 verse 19 um, it says you you will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea 
That is what God does for us. I just love that. Love it. Um, okay, I'm going to put this away for now because I want to um, do some little bubbles. And the only bubbles I have or the only round um, things I have are these little, uh, this stencil. So I was going to use a combination of like this bright blue, this darker blue, and like a green blue. So I'm going to let's start with the light first. Yes, Kay, thank you for putting that up. So I'm going to, I don't know where I want to put some bubbles. I just want some on the paper and I'm going really light first in just in some areas. Oops, I should have kept that there because I'm gonna, let me take all these lids off. I'm just gonna mix my colors, y'all. I know some people that drive them nuts, but, and I'm going in just in certain areas with the colors To give them different dimensions a little bit to have some darker areas some lighter areas some different colors if that makes sense so you can kind of see and then i'm gonna do a couple up there oh, you're wondering how the c theme came into came into play huh well he's casting all of our sins into the sea let me grab a Paper towel and wipe some of that off. Yep, to the deepest part of the sea. I saw somebody who who did uh, this page, and they had like this really creepy looking octopus, um, which was really cool. I thought it was a neat picture of it. Okay, I need to put a little bubble there to cover that one up. I bet, well, this guy will probably cover up most of these anyways. I just want them kind of peeking out from the back. Let's put a couple up at the top. A couple up here. Coming down. But that's still a little wet so that made the ink a little darker so if you don't want that dry your napkin but I kind of like it so I'm gonna put some over here too you can do this with colored pencils or you know whatever else you have I just had my inks out so I figured use them and use my little stencils I'm just gonna kind of do one or two in different areas real light ones and I'm gonna, now I'm going to go back and do some on top of the bubbles, like layer them up. You could go in with a pen too. and I'm just trying to get just a few, not the whole thing. That's cute. Let's do a couple going this way. Y'all know me probably in stencils. I can just keep going and going and going and before you know it, I have the whole page stenciled up. Okay, let's do a couple little ones right there and then I think I'm done. I think, yeah, that should be good. Okay, let's move that to the side. I'll cover these up. wash this off later okay as I got ink all over me okay what's next what's next brush all that off okay that's still a little wet so let's see we can do we can do our okay I'm wondering now if I want all this, yeah, because that'll show. I think I like that. Okay, let's grab our gesso. 
Now this one, uh, I think I'll start at the bottom. Remember, if you use um, any kind of ink, it's going to smear with your wet gesso. But again, I don't care because it's behind the... I just want some of it to show through. Some of those dots will show through, as you can see. They'll, they'll eventually show through. Okay, this part I think I'm going to tear off. Because I want that... There we go. I want that to show through. Okay, so now just do your layers, smear it on, and then smooth your napkin over it. Again, when you get to the ink part, since it's, it's distress ink, it depends what kind of ink you use. Well, this wasn't distress ink, but this was a water-based ink, so see, you see, it will smear um, when I put the gesso down. So I'm trying to be careful. I mean, you won't, since it's under the napkin, you're not going to see much of it anyways, but some of it will show through. So I'm trying to keep it as intact as possible. So I wanted that layer to kind of show through. If you don't like it, you can just go like this and wipe them out. And there you go. You solved that problem. You got rid of it. So I didn't want all of those bubbles, so you get rid of it. But I do want, see, I want some of them to show through. And I'll show you up close in case you can't see it from where you're at. Okay, there's a lot of ink up here, so we gotta be... Okay, we got most of that down. Now I'm just gonna go back in and do the top. I know, Karen, I love this napkin too. I've been ha hoarding it forever and I've been wanting to use it. And I'm like, I know there'll be a Bible passage that I could use it on at some point. And sure enough, here we go. And I like the little ripples in this because it does kind of look like we're underwater. So. I always like the texture that napkins bring, but this one especially because kind of like you're already underwater. If you wanted to use like acetate paper or something and do a level over this, you could really make it look cool. Now that I'm doing this, I'm coming up with more ideas, <laughs> but uh, you know, like um, projector paper, you can do that and have layers. You can, you can do like an octopus on top and then behind him have something or whatever. I mean, you can make layers of uh, the depths of the ocean. Oh, look at, see right here, you can see the ink showing through. Unless that was part of the napkin, I can't tell. It might be mine or it might be the napkin. I think the napkin had some bubbles on it too. So I wanna make sure I can see my words there. No, this is not Jonah, but you can use, you definitely can use this in Jonah. I just haven't gotten to Jonah yet. I mean, I've read it before, you know, but I just, I'm still working. Did I pass Jonah? I don't know. I've been skipping around in the, um, I've been skipping around in the, uh, Minor Prophets. And I was just in Micah today, so this one kind of stood out for me, for Micah. Okay, now this part's tearing, so I'm just going to actually tear this part out, so then this will let the paper shine through. I really like that. So what I'm going to do, actually, since I like it that much, I'm going to see if I can tear some of these other pieces without tearing the paper underneath and have part of the paper showing through. I don't know if you can see that yet. You probably will when it dries. So yeah, you can do stuff like that too. I'm going to try up here so I can tear a little bit of this. So yeah, don't be afraid of tearing your napkin. Sometimes it's a really cool look. Micah comes after John. I know, I, I'm, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I've been skipping around. Oh yeah, Jonah's right here. <laughs> yeah, I haven't done anything in Joni yet. 
in my old Bible, I did my other Bible. I did a lot of fish images and such, and I, it kind of burnt me out. I might do go in a whole different direction in Jonah. So God hasn't really like I, I just I wait until God um, I don't know impresses the verses on me to journal. I'm gonna tear this part two right here. Okay. I think that's good. We're gonna dry that and then I think it's missing a couple bubbles over here, so I need to put some there because it's a little bare over there, but I gotta dry this first. So sorry y'all about the noise. Try to dry it as fast as I can. Especially over here where I'm gonna put the ink. And when you're drying it, this is when you'll find the spots that maybe you didn't seal down as well. And you can go back in and seal it down. Looks like I ripped a little part of the jellyfish too, but that's okay. Or is that part of it? That might be part of it. Oh yeah, it's part of the shadow, the highlight right there. Okay, I'm gonna put stickers over on this side, so I need to get this dry because you can't stick stickers to wet napkins. That definitely will not work. And sometimes if you have issues with your stickers sticking to the napkins, you might have to use glue. Yes, I could do a desert in Jonah. I might do that. I did a desert scene in, gosh, which one did I do it in? Hosea? Might've been Hosea. They're all starting to run together for me. <laughs> but one thing I love about the Minor Prophets is I have found, I don't know if y'all have found this as well, but my gosh, they seem to relate perfectly to what is going on in our society right now. At least to me, like, you know, the corruption of the people in charge or the, you know, the people calling good evil and evil good or just all of that. I'm just like, wow, it's so relevant to what's going on right now. So yeah, I've been enjoying that part and knowing that through it all, God is with us and he's gonna keep his promises and, okay, I gotta try to get this in this corner somehow. He's gonna keep his promises and keep his remnant and protect his people. And I just, I love all that. So I'm just, I'm clinging on to that personally right now. So that, you know, that's what I found that these minor prophets really are talking to me, you know, for that. Okay, that's about as close as I can get it to the, to that spiral there. That's one thing about these spiral uh, books. I might have to just, I wish I can get one that will lay out totally flat, but then, you know, the more you add to your Bible, it just keeps getting poofier and poofier. Okay, I guess that's like the main thing. And now the only other thing, um, well, we can do, I've got some of these stickers and stuff. Let me grab, okay, I got my stickers, so I wanna definitely, um, make my title. And then I also want to maybe, I've got a couple of these stickers, do something at the top, like a little tab. Maybe this and this, let me see. Maybe something like this at the top. But I need to stick it on something. So let me see. And cut it out. Yes, Karen. Yes. The nature of humanity. Yes, unfortunately. And the unchanging nature of God. For sure. So I'm sticking this just to a backing. Because it's stickers. And so. I'm going to cut this out with my. 
and little scissors. Let's cut that out so I can make it easier. Yes, praise God that he is unchanging. I don't know how he deals with humanity, y'all. I just don't. Thank God I'm not God. I'm just cutting with like a little baby uh, border around this whole thing. You can layer up. So if you have like little uh, tabs like this and you wanted more, just start layering up them up. Um, and make a bigger make a bigger tab for the top. So this has got like the ocean on it and then the little uh, ship's wheel. I like that. And then I'll have to find some baby stickers for that. I'll probably write um, the depths or depths on there or something. Or into the sea. I don't know. I'll write something on there. Okay, so I'm gonna glue this part. I have to make sure there's a lot of glue on here because it's gonna go on this napkin part. Or maybe I'll put it no, I want it right here. Okay. And now just going to do my title. Uh, what will my title be? Maybe cast into the depths of the sea. And I want to do cast maybe with these round ones and then the rest with these or something. Let me see. Yeah, I could do depths with big letters. Do I have? I don't know if I have. I was thinking of that too, but I think I'm going to do cast into the depths of the sea because I think I have all the letters big and small that I can do and I'll, I'll do it kind of wonky here because this is kind of empty. So I'll do that right there. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. If it looks weird, we'll erase it. You know what? Maybe I want... I could do cast and all in black. Well, Karen, you can make that the title of your page and I would love to see it when you get it done. Ha ha ha. Is that even straight, y'all? Oh my gosh. It's hard for me to... I probably shouldn't try to make it straight. I should probably make it wonky because then it won't matter if it's straight or not. Okay, cast into that. So right now we're just, I might just do these wonky. Oop. Oh my gosh. We'll make them really wonky. We'll see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I could always fix it. It's like it's floating in the water. TH. Well, you'll have to take a break from cleaning, Karen, and and do some crafting. <laughs> so let's see, D E. P T H S. So that'll all be white. And I wonder if depth should have been D E P T H S. The depth should be black. Cast should be white. So let's see if I have enough. Okay. The depths, because the depths are all black. Dark, dark, dark. Dark down in the deepest ocean. Cast into the depths. So I'm gonna need this T. Sorry. T-H. I'm 
going to need this S. Sorry. So now let's do cast. Ooh, starting to rip my napkin. I'll put that C back. Take this C. Cover up that hole. Oh, I don't think I have a white A. I have white and red, but I don't like that. I'll just use this black one. And this white. And this. We'll see if that looks weird. Does that look weird, y'all? <laughs> looks a little weird, but. Cast into the depths. What was I saying? Of the sea. <laughs> Just watching y'all just stick my stick my stickers and uh, the garbage men are outside getting all the garbage cast into the depths of the I don't like that e. there we go of the I wonder if I have enough the big one nope my C is moving. Um, S E A. I wonder if I want to do that. I wonder what that would look like. Or S. Uh, no. Let's try with these circle or this one. See what this looks like. Did that look weird? Yeah, I don't really like those stripes. Doesn't go. Let's stick that back. I guess we'll just continue on with these letters. Unless I can find some blue stickers somewhere, but. S E A. There we go. Cast into the depths of the sea. Love that. Love that he does that for us. Our sins are all cast into the depths of the sea. I guess I wonder if I have, if these letters will fit up here. So if I go something like that. D. color which sticker? Karen, this one? To blue? I probably have blue stickers somewhere. I just have to go dig. I got stickers all over the place. Now that's gonna bother me, so this has gotta move over. Cause I need it a little bit even. There we go. You use alcohol markers to color, recolor letters. Oh, that's a good idea. I played with a bunch of alcohol inks this morning. I did a video on that too. If y'all want to learn how to do that, I did a bunch. I can show you real quick. If I, uh, let me show you what I did because I might use it on one of my Bible journaling pages. So I was playing with alcohol inks this morning on vellum paper and then um, embossing it with embossing powder to make it look like wintry a little bit. Um, this one I just did Pearl X powders on the top. This one I used acetate paper um, with the, I don't know if you can see it, maybe better through the window, um, acetate paper and then embossed. And then this one I did some stamping on. So I was just fooling around with my alcohol inks and I'm going to cut sections of this out and make um, 
different things with them, letters, things for the my Bible. I was trying to figure out a page I can do these on, so I'm going to do that as well as in a couple of my journals. But yeah, that was my uh, alcohol ink mess, pay, mess, uh, messy play with this morning. <laughs> okay, well, there's the page, um, and then we'll, I'll just date it. I'll grab my, my, I'll either do this or maybe, did I have numbers on my stickers? Maybe I could find some, no, no numbers on this one, but maybe I could find some number stickers and just do some numbers down here. But let me bring it up close for y'all. Thank y'all. Yeah, it's fun. I do have a video on it. So if you want to learn how I did it, um, it's on my page. Um, again, I do, for all that kind of stuff, I do videos. So, okay. So depths, he cast our sins and I didn't put our sins, but cast into the depths of the sea. He cast our sins. So it's Micah seven verse 19 y'all. So just grab any kind of like sea pictures you have. And there you go. So fun. I love just, you know, layering things up and doing things. So, so glad y'all can join me for this impromptu. I know it was just, you know, I was just kind of sitting around. I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to do it. Let's all do it together. So, I don't know if any of y'all have any questions or anything to talk about. Laura, you wish you had sea stuff. You know, even if you don't. Okay, so let's say you don't have any images like this. So, we can go over things like other things that you can do. Something like this is super easy to do. If you have blue scrapbook paper, you can tear, just like I did here, tear blue scrapbook paper. You can make, you can like just tear out like a sea star if out of paper. You can draw it. You can have, if you have stencils, um, you can tear layers of paper and just make, um, oh, I got some a little dot of something there. Some mica dots. Um, you can tear, make layers and make like a deep ocean if you want with paper. You can use watercolor and just do bubbles on your page. You can, you know, like maybe draw your own um, uh, coral. This is super easy to draw if you have just um, either some uh, colored pencils, markers, ink, you know, a brush with paint. Just draw little sticks all across the bottom. You can draw a little like abstract shell you can tear paper for the sand at the bottom and then just make some bubbles I mean you don't have to have any kind of sea pictures or anything I just did I just went around and just you know try to find some scrapbook paper that I had um like I said I had a variety of different um oh I don't have it with me it's it's just a pad of ocean scrapbook paper so that's where I got this um blue paper from um, and they had uh, some seahorses as well. Where was my seahorses? So they had this kind of paper. So then you wouldn't even have to draw it. You can just you can just cut out the seahorses and put them all over your page if you want with bubbles or whatever. I mean, there's a lot of lot of different ways that you can get the same type of look, but not have you know you don't have to have the same napkins. You don't have to have the same stuff. So just you know look around your house. Use what you got. You can you can do all of this. Oh, another great way. You can um, use ink, just tear some paper like this and do layers of ink. So ha you have your paper here, do ink, and then move your paper and do another shade of the ink and move your paper, do another shade, and that's how you can get layers or different, if you wanna go up or down or you know do the gradation of the ocean going deeper and deeper, you could do like bright blue up here and darker blue and dark greenish blue and then it starts getting you know real deep and dark and then you know, you can write the same thing, cast into the depths of the sea, or you can have an anchor, or I mean, anything, a boat, you you can, you know, any anything, you can make little big bubbles, big whatever. So yeah, just kind of get um, creative thinking about how you can portray the image that's in your head. And it might, that night might not even be an image that God has given you for your head at all. Like for me, it was just when I, when I read cast into the depths of the sea, like I was just picturing like deep ocean. Um, but for other people, they might have a whole other view, you know, image in their head that God gives them about that. So, you know, just, just kind of go where God's leading you to, to, you know, to, um, display whatever verse touches you. This verse just stood out to me today. Other times, different verses stand out to me. Like I'll be reading a page and I'll remember, okay, you know, last year that verse really stuck out for me, but this year a whole other verse just jumps out of the page for me because 
you know, like, um, I mean, the word is a living book. I mean, it is, I'm constantly learning new things. Different verses stand out to me at different times. So, you know, do go where God leads you. This is just where, you know, God led me today. And, um, yeah, you, I just, and use what you have. I'm all about using what you have and getting creative with what you have. So you don't have to have this specific stuff. So yeah. Thanks, Susan. Hi, Diane. You joined us. So yeah, it was an impromptu today. So if, if there are no more questions, that's our page for today. Um, I'm excited for Diane's teaching for the rest of the uh, um, minor prophets. And I've been skipping around, so I do have to, I didn't do any in Obadiah yet. I didn't do any in Jonah yet. Um, and then I don't think any in Nahum. So I've got to do a few more, a few more. Zachary, there's so many, <laughs> there's so many. Um, I might not get to all of them, but you know, just wherever God is leading me. So, okay. Well, thank you all so much. I appreciate you joining me for this impromptu. Hopefully, you know, that'll get you all thinking or, you know, I enjoy spending time with y'all this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you all for joining me. I guess I'll see you all in the next video. And I've been really enjoying all the other videos that everyone's been doing and all the, all your ideas. And I love seeing your take on the same verse. Like I love seeing everybody's different styles. It is so, so cool. So thank you all so much for inspiring me to keep stretching and doing new things as well. So thanks, Karen. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, everybody. I don't have, I don't, don't have scrolling down all the comments um but thank you all so much for joining me and i'll see you next time bye y'all have a blessed afternoon see you later